Greetings, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, something a little different today. This is another one of Daniel Charnitsky's images. It's a camera raw image um, from his Iceland collection. Thank you, Daniel, very much. And uh, this particular image, the, the thing I'm doing different here is I brought this image in from Lightroom into Photoshop, but I did no adjustments whatsoever. Then I added my typical Topaz Denoise AI on it for the excellent noise reduction that it gives me. And then Topaz Sharpen AI just to sharpen it up a bit. Again, a great program. Then I sent it, this is what I did different. I sent it into... Um, Luminar 4 and used AI Enhance on it without any adjustments, so that I'm really happy with those results. Then I took it into Topaz Studio 2, did some nice detail and color pop adjustments on it there. And then I sent it back into Luminar 4 again, and I did some uh, mystical filter on it, which you'll see here, it's really nice. And then I sent it into Topaz Adjust AI and did something I've never done before with Topaz Adjust AI. And you'll see here, so you want to stay tuned to the very end here. But this image started out looking like this and it ends up looking like this. Well, you want to see how I did this? Stay tuned and let's get started. This image came in right from Lightroom with no adjustments whatsoever on it. Okay, no noise reduction, nothing, no sharpening. I sent it into Topaz Denoise AI and got rid of the noise. It, it was just a very low ISO, ISO 500. And then I sent it into Topaz Sharpen AI and sharpened it up a bit. And now I'm going to duplicate that layer and we'll send this into Luminar 4. And then we're going to use some AI Enhance on it. We're in the Essentials tab. I'm going to go to AI Enhance and we'll use some AI Accent. A little bit of AI Sky Enhancer. And let's give it a little bit of AI Structure as well. These go well together. Something like so. Let's go to Light and a little bit of exposure here. I might pull the highlights back just a smidge. Maybe just a little more exposure. And I think I'm happy with that. Um, let's try Landscape Enhancer. How about a little gold now we're on there and see what it does. Yeah, I like a little bit of gold now. I love what it's doing up here. And on the foreground here as well. That's looking nice. And let's go ahead and apply that. Here's the before and here is the after. So very nice so far. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this background layer and then we're going to go ahead and send it up into Topaz Studio 2. I'm going to start out here in uh, Topaz Studio 2 and go to one of my favorite filters and that's the uh, Precision Contrast. I like to add this one first and then I might add detail after that. I'll start out with the micro and be careful here. You don't want to go too crazy with it. Just a little bit of micro, a little bit of low contrast, some medium here. And maybe a little more low. And I think high, I'm going to leave it where it is. Now, if you left click on the canvas, you can see there's a before and the after. So a nice little uh, contrast uh, bump there. Now, we also have lighting here. So we can, uh, we can darken our shadows down by moving the shadow slider to the left. Or we can open the shadows up by moving into the light. And I just might open those shadows up just a little tiny bit. Uh, let's play with our midtones. And see if I want any mid-tone here. Maybe just a very little bit. And if my highlights are too hot, I can pull my highlights back. And I might just pull the highlights back a little bit. And then we have this really cool equalization slider here. So let me just click it and you'll see what it does. It's really mainly working with the actual lighting. It's giving you low, medium, or high equalization. It's, it's a really cool little uh, lighting effect. And then we have color. Uh, we can boost our saturation up here with this. And I might do that. I might give it a little extra saturation. And there's also a vibrant slider here. If we want to add some vibrant. So that's way too much. Now these adjustments in Topaz Studio 2 are very aggressive. So you got to be careful with them. You don't want to go too much. In fact, I'm going to pull that saturation back a little bit. And maybe do more vibrance somewhere around there. And there's a nice color contrast here too. Let me pull this up so you can see what it's doing. It's instead of working with luminosity contrast, it is working with actual color contrast. 
So you don't want to go too crazy here, but a little of this can go a long way just to give your image a nice little pop. You know, so I might just bump that up just a little bit. And don't be afraid to play around with your sliders. Move around and see what kind of results you get. Now let's left click the uh, canvas. Here's the before and here's the after. So very nice. But we have all those differences, different adjustments inside of that uh, precision contrast. I'm going to add another one of those precision contrast filters because when I was playing with the vibrance, I liked the color that was happening up in here and there was some color pop on this, on this hill back here as well. So what I'm going to do is just take the vibrance inside of here. I'm just going to grab that vibrance and pull it up. And check these, check the colors up in here and back on the hill. Now that's a little too much, so let's pull it back a little bit. Maybe somewhere around in there. Now let's go up and get a layer mask. Masking is your friend, okay? Let's invert that layer mask. And let's get a brush and let's make sure we're painting on drag our transparency slider the whole way to the right so we have a white paint swatch here and make sure you have your edge aware turned on and what I want to do is get a decent sized radius here and I'm just gonna paint in this area right in here because this is where I like that little color pop just right around here and that edge aware is gonna be nice because it's gonna help us see that little color pop up in there let's make our radius a little bit smaller and now what I want to do is I want to come up into this Peel back in here and pop these colors off here a little bit with that vibrance. I think that'll be nice. Yeah, see that like that? Now let's go back to the adjustment itself. Let's play with that color contrast and see what happens if I pull that up. Yeah, see that's making those the color contrast pop out a little more. I might just pull that up a little bit, not too much. I don't want to go crazy back there. But maybe just a little bit like that. Let's click this uh, layer off. There's the before. And just watch the hill back there in the foreground. And there's the after. Before and after. So that's nice. Next up, another one of my all-time favorites inside of Topaz Studio 2, and that's Precision Detail. Now you can adjust detail in the overall details, shadows, or just highlights. And then you have small details, medium details, and large details. And then they also give you lighting here as well, which is nice. So let's start out with small details. Let's pop some small detail up there. Got to be careful here because you don't want to go too crazy. And what I may end up doing is layer masking this in. So I'm looking at this nice ice here in the foreground here. I don't really want it up in the sky. Let's go with the overall medium. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, a little bit of medium on here, I think looks nice. And let's try some large. Yeah, let's do a little bit of large in there too. Let's see before and after. No, don't worry about the sky because we're going to mask it in. Okay. Yeah, cool. Nice. So now let's come up to the layer mask and then we're going to invert that layer mask. Let's get a brush. Well, let's click invert first. Let's get a brush, and I'm going to leave the edge of where it turned on, get our size here. I'm going to do, let's do the ice first. So I'm going to get a size that will work there. Make sure we take our transparency slider the whole way to the right. And now let's just go ahead and paint. And I love the red overlay there, so you can really see where you're painting here. I'm going to stay off the water. I'm going to hit this ice right here, back in here. This little bit of water in here is okay. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Yeah, look at that nice little bit of detail there. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and get some of this other ice in here. Let's just paint over this ice. And maybe right here, right here and here. And let's make our radius a little bit larger. And now let's just hit this foreground area right here. Let's get it too. But again, that overlay is really cool, so you can really see what you're doing here. Nice. And let's see. What I might do is pull my transparency back, you know, till it's more uh, in the gray tones here. And now I'm just going to paint it on this hill back here. But let me, let me pull my radius back just a little bit. 
And that edgeware technology is really going to help you out. It's going to keep it locking on to the edges and things like that. So let's just go ahead and paint here and see what we get. Yeah, a little bit of detail there. Uh, let's click this layer off. Here's the before and here's the after. I think I'm done here for now, so let's go ahead and click accept and send us back to Photoshop. Let's go ahead and take a look at it before we send it to Topaz Studio 2. There's the before and here's the after. Again, there's the before and the after. I went ahead and renamed my layers. Uh, this layer is Luminar Enhance AI and Structure. We also added some Golden Hour in there too. And then I sent it into Topaz Studio 2 to add contrast and detail. So that's this layer. I duplicated it. I'm calling this Luminar because now I want to send this into Luminar. And what I would like to do in Luminar 4 is maybe add some Orton effect or possibly the mystical filter. Let's try the mystical filter on this. Let's come to the creative tab, give it a click and make sure you click on mystical and let's take the amount. It's real easy to work with. Let's take the amount and let's start to pull it to the right and see that nice dreamy look your image takes on here. Now I'm remember I added some nice detail to the foreground of this image with Topaz Studio 2 so I don't want to kill that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm only going to add it probably to the sky. But another thing I'm going to do is, here's a little tip. Come to Edit Mask and click on Luminosity for Luminosity Mask. That'll put a light's Luminosity Mask in your image and only apply this mystical, ethereal, glowy look just to the highlights, okay, of your image. And now you can see it's a lot tamer. So I can pull that up even more. And it doesn't even look bad in the foreground here. So that's a nice tip for you, okay? So the next thing I want to do is I only want to apply it to the to the sky here and take it off the foreground. So what we need to do next is click Edit Mask and let's click on Brush and make sure you have Overlay turned on. If you don't, just click this little eyeball here. The areas you see in red are getting the mystical adjustment. So what I want to do is remove it from the foreground area. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have Erase checked on here and get myself a decent sized brush. And what I want to do is just erase it from the foreground area. Okay, I'm just gonna do this pretty quick here. Let's paint across here. Gotta sing a little bit when you do this. It's all part of the joy of editing. All right, like so, let's click Done. And now you can see it's only on the sky. So now if we toggle this off and on this layer here, the mystical layer, there's a before and there's an after. Now if you feel you went too strong, just take the amount and back it off a little bit. And I might just do that. Back it off a little bit there. Now let's see. Here's the before and here's the after. But it gives it a nice little dreamy effect up there in the sky. And I like that. I'm going to add one final filter. And that is in the Pro tab here. And it's the Adjustable Gradient Filter. I love this filter. Just click Set Orientation Point, And you'll see this little overlay comes up here. I'm just going to drag it down. I just want to darken up the bottom, bottom of my image here. This is the graduation zone in here, by the way. Click on Bottom. And then you can just take the exposure and pull it down a little bit. And see, it just darkens off the bottom. It just closes out the image a little bit. And that's very important on a landscape image to close out the bottom of the image and the top of the image. Now, if you recall, when I first started out in Luminar, I used that uh, AI Sky Enhance, which kind of darkens the top of the image. So it's already dark up there. But I just want to close it off at the bottom. And let's click on the toggle here. Here's the before. And here's the after. So it just darkens it up just a little bit. And that's good. And I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've done here. So here's the uh, the last layer we did, Luminar Mystical. And we added the gradient at the bottom. So let's take a look at the before. And here's the after. Now for the final finishing touch. I went ahead and duplicated the uh, Luminar Mystical gradient layer. And called it Topaz Adjust AI. Because I'm going to send this into... Topaz Adjust AI and wait till you see what we do in there. Let's try some things. Let's click on Standard. See what kind of result we get. And let's try HDR. Okay, I think I'm going to go with HDR. I'm going to send it back to Photoshop full strength here. I know you think it looks ugly, but just hold on to your hat for a second. Let's click Apply. Now I'm just looking at this image and saying, what do I like here? And what don't I like? I don't like the sky. I don't like this hill. I like the ice flow here, or the glacier, I guess you call that. 
and the foreground right here. And I don't like the extra color in here. So here's what I'm going to, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to simply put on a uh, black layer mask right here to hide everything. I'm going to get my brush and uh, B for your brush tool. Opacity is 100%, flows at 100%. And first off, what I'm going to do, make sure I'm painting with white paint. First, I'm going to paint on the foreground here. Isn't that cool? Like magic, that lights up. And that's exciting to me right there. And then what I think I'll do next is um, paint right across this glacier. If that's not a glacier, let me know. I've never been to Iceland. So I'm going to paint across this glacier right here. I'm going to stay off of this area up in here. I might just hit this little piece of ice right here down into here. Because remember, I added some of that contrast pop inside of Topaz Studio 2 right there. Okay, so now let's take the uh, transparency or the opacity and pull it the whole way off. Now let's just slowly build it up. What I'm doing right here is using Topaz Adjust AI to give me just simply a local adjustment, which is a pretty cool thing to do. Check that out. Now here's the before and here's the after. Isn't that beautiful? And I like it. It might be too strong. I might just ease it off a little bit more. Again, here's the before and here's the after. Now let's go to the very first layer. I'm going to option or alt click this layer, depending if you're in a Mac or PC. Here's where we came from, right here. No adjustments whatsoever on it. It came right out of Lightroom. No noise reduction, no sharpening, no anything. And then we finished up right here. But I'm really happy with these results. The first thing I did was added a denoise adjustment layer in here, sent it into Topaz Denoise AI and removed the noise. Then I sent it into Topaz Sharpen AI, sharpened up the image. Let me shut these layers off here. And then after that, I sent this into Luminar and did some Enhance AI and Structure on it, and it came to here. Beautiful results. I love that. And then I duplicated that layer and sent it into Topaz Studio 2 for some extra detail pop. Okay. And again, here's the before and there's the after. So I'm really happy with that. Then I sent it back into Luminar again. So I duplicated the layer and added some mystical filter to, to the sky only and some gradient to the foreground to close off the image. And so here is what that looks like. So here's the before and here's the after. And lastly, I sent it into Topaz Adjust AI, duplicated the Luminar mystical gradient layer. And here's what we ended up with right here. So I added some nice, beautiful color to this uh, glacier here and to the foreground. So again, here's the before and here's the after. And here's where we come from. We come from here and went to here. Well, we're all through. Man, I threw a little bit of everything at this today. But this is my workflow. You know, Photoshop, Topaz Studio 2, Luminar 4. Uh, I use Nick software at different times. And at the end, I threw some Topaz Adjust AI at this. And of course, I start out with uh, Topaz Denoise always and Topaz Sharpen AI always, okay? And at the end, I hope you enjoyed that with the uh, Topaz Adjust AI where I used it as a local adjustment, something a little different today. And it really took this image for me over the top. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. Well, thank you. Thank you, each and every one, for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!